Hello everyone, welcome to the new session of this Excel series. This video is all about lookup and edge lookup function. So if you have remember in those previous sessions, we have mastered VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP trim with data validation and even VLOOKUP with approximate match. So in this session, we will start working with horizontal table, which is our edge lookup function. So without waiting any further, let's quickly get started. So what is horizontal table? You can see horizontal table means the headings are in the rows. If you remember in vertical table, headings were mentioned in the columns. So let's see how this edge lookup function works. Over here, I have the order ID. Now, if I want the unit rate, how will I do edge lookup? So I'll go to here equals to edge lookup tab and the lookup value is 102 and the table array. So over here, the order ID is on the top row. So I'll select from the top row and the unit rate is in the third row. So I'll select the entire array over here. And then in VLOOKUP, it was column index number. In H lookup, it is row index number. So I'll just write it as the third row and I want the appropriate match. So zero and enter. So for 102, it is 26, right? Similarly, for 105, we can find it out. So equals to H lookup, lookup value, the temp table array and 3 and 0. Perfect. So for 105, it is $24. Similarly, we will find the quantity. Now I will show you if you want to drag the formula. Instead of writing every time the formula, we can just give the absolute reference wherever it is required. So it, it will be equal to H lookup, the lookup value, the table array. So we want the quantity. We can select either these two rows or the, all the three rows. I'll select all the three for you and I'll just click F4 so that we'll lock the reference and I'll go for two and zero because it is the second row. And we have kept B13 unlocked because we want to drag it down. Now for 102, the quantity is 12. Let's drag it down. And for 105, the quantity is 16. And total amount is simple. It is equals to this into this quantity. And we can drag it down. So basically, the rules are similar. The selected lookup value should be in the first row. Okay, and it sees the value from top to bottom. And of course, it should not repeat. It should be a unique item. Now let's see the lookup function. In lookup function, you can see I have mentioned the quantity over here, the discount rate, and this is the range. So if we saw the appro approximate value, similarly, we can work with lookup function. The difference will be in lookup function, there are only two parameters. So instead of four parameters, we have to mention two parameters. I'll go for equals to lookup tab. Now lookup value is quantity 50 and over here the quantity and discount and you just have to close the brackets. So for 50 it is 0%, yes for 0 to 100 it was 0. Now what if I write 100 over here? You will see yes it is 5% because if it is equals to 100 then it is 5%. What if, if I write 450? Sorry over here and it is 5%. So it is functioning properly. Now this was the example of lookup function in vertical table. Let's see in the horizontal table as well. So if the quantity is 14 and 20 and this is the range, over here if I want to give equals to lookup in horizontal table, how will I go for it? Lookup, lookup value and the array. So quantity should be in the first row and we'll select the table and close the brackets. So for 14, the quantity, the unit rate is $12. And now for 20, it is just lookup, the lookup value, and the quantity should be in the first row of the selected array. So for 20, it is 24. 
Now, if you see the order ID are not in the ascending order or descending order. It is 101, 102, 105, 104, 103. So let's see how this will function. Equals to lookup. Order ID is 102. So we we'll select from the top row and we want the quantity only. So I'll select these two rows. I'll press F4 so that it gets locked and I'll press enter. So for 102, the quantity is 12. Now I'll drag it down. And for 103, again it is showing me 12. So there is an error. Why there is an error? Because it is not in the order. Now let me put it in the order 103 and 105. Now if you'll see for 103, it is 14. So always you have to put the table in the order. Ascending or descending doesn't matter. And now finally at last, we'll see another function for database get function which we have learned previously. So over here, if I have the employee ID and if I want to fill the entire record, how will we do it? Quite simple, equals to lookup. Okay, and the first formula is lookup value, lookup vector and the result vector. So lookup value is this, lookup vector is this and the result vector I want is the name records. And now close the brackets. So for 103, the name is James. Now, if I want to drag it down, what all will I lock? Let's check. So, I will lock the lookup value, which I want to be constant. I'll press F4. I'll lock the lookup vector, that is this array. I'll lock this as well. And I want this to shift. That's why I'm not locking it. And press Enter. And now you can drag the formula. This way, you can fill the records of the entire data set. See, it is data scientist, undergraduation, mail, and everything is done in this manner. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this session on Excel. In this Excel course, we are going to cover all the things like from starting, from formulas to charts, graphs, and even some case studies on real data sets. I hope you guys will feel more confident on your Excel skills after this. But remember, practice makes you the perfect, right? So don't hesitate to try out what you have learned. Also, if you want to excel in your career too, then you can check out our Data Science Pro program by clicking on the link given in the description. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or if you have any doubts related to Excel, please let us know in the comment section below. Till then, happy learning.